Welcome back to AM Buffalo. February 12th marks the 10th anniversary of the tragedy of Colgan Air Flight 3407 into a house in Clarence Center. All 49 passengers and crew members on board the aircraft perished in the crash, including the resident of that house, Doug Wylinski. Joining us this morning is Karen Wylinski. She wrote the book titled One on the Ground to honor her husband, Doug's memory. And this morning, she's here to share her story. Karen, it's so nice to meet you, you. And we thank you for thank coming you for here and, me. I appreciate it. And, and sharing with us. It's yes. unbelievable to think about, but it's been 10 years since that terrible evening. And it was just a normal night for you and your family until the moments it was life-changing. Right, I mean, you know, it makes you realize how life can change in an instant. And, um, you know, it was just a normal night and then everything changed. So, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that it's going to be a 10-year anniversary in this February. I mean, sometimes it seems like yesterday, mm -hmm. other times, it, you know, it's like another lifetime. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would say most years, uh, the anticipation of the anniversary always starts like around the holidays. This year, I think that anticipation started even in the summer because plans were starting to be made for the remembrances that are gonna take place mm -hmm. on February 12th. And then before the show we were talking, you mentioned that five years was tough to get through. Right, uh, the fifth anniversary was the first year that I actually went to the site at the time of the, the crash. And um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but at that time I kind of had the feeling that I had to do that mm -hmm. because I felt maybe Doug's spirit's there and I just, you know, it, before it can be released, I have to go mm -hmm. there. So whether or not that happened, I don't know. But um, it's hard, um, it's one thing to, commemorate and remember the crash uh, when you're by yourself or with your family or a friend but when you're with the other 3407 families you know there's a lot more emotion attached to those occasions so um, I, I know it's going to be emotional on October or excuse me February 12th. Karen what led you to write this book? Um, a lot of reasons um, first of all the title itself one on the ground um, the day after the crash, my daughter and I were, uh, turned on the television to see, you know, what was being said. And the news crawl underneath indicated that, you know, 49 people on the plane had been killed and one on the ground. So I don't think it was intentional, but it always felt to me that Doug was like an afterthought. So um, what happened? I moved to East Aurora and joined a writing group. Uh, that was moderated by Rick Oler, who's been doing the classes like since the 80s. And uh, joining that uh, just got me to write so much about Doug, about the crash, um, about my life uh, growing up in Buffalo. So uh, that was the beginning of it and the encouragement that they gave me um, helped. And then Eric Brady from USA Today contacted me in January, I think of 2011. And he wanted to do a story about Doug because Doug was a sports collector. Mm -hmm. So uh, my connection with Eric then also helped um, because I felt he was probably one of the first media people that wanted to make Doug more than one on the ground. So, uh, you know, I received encouragement from him and uh, also um, eventually from uh, the Buffalo News staff. So all that encouragement really made me want to write, and so um, I did. Um, I wrote about each month in that first year what we were going through, and then uh, put stories in between that related to those. I wrote about my uh, connection with the other 3407 families, and uh, then the trial, of course, and also about the memorial uh, that was established on Long Street. So there's a lot in those 300 plus pages. <laughs> and you're quite the writer too. Thank you, yes, thank you, yes. Yeah. And um, I, I'd like to point out too that, you know, the book is primarily about Doug and our family, but it also, um, I want people to know about the efforts uh, that the other 3407 families have contributed um, to air, air safety. Um, you know, they were ordinary people who really did extraordinary things and it's made uh, flying a lot safer for all of us. And uh, also 80% of the profit from the book uh, does go in a scholarship fund that we established in Doug's name. 
and I'm quite pleased to say that we are now giving three scholarships to uh, seniors. Wow. And uh, you know, Doug was uh, big on history, big on uh, going to schools. Big history talk. buff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, big on going to schools and talking to students about his uh, days in Vietnam and also his business uh, career. Mm -hmm. So I think he would be very pleased to know that we can, uh, you know, have these scholarships. Would you say that writing this book has helped you cope? Oh yeah, helped you get through? definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, you know it's just a release uh, for all the the stress and and um, you know pain that we we've gone through as a family, and um, you know I, I find it hard to believe that. I'm an author now, but I think um, I'm also a historian too because it does um, tell the history of a pretty important event in uh, Western New York uh, history. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been uh, quite a busy 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of crazy when you think about everything that's happened in 10 years. How is your family doing? They're doing well. Um, I have four grandchildren now and uh, you know that helps too. If it had just been Doug and I, his loss would have been so much harder on me. But having four girls and then four grandchildren um, you know, it just They're keeping it, it you helps. Busy. It helps. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. And those grandchildren provide some stories sometimes too. So I hope I can continue to write. Um, you know, that's always my fear that I won't be able to keep writing. But I'm very proud of the book, and I'm glad uh, it is out there. Before we wrap up, Karen, what do you want people to know about your husband? What do you want them yeah. to remember from this book? You're going to make me cry. Oh, you? no, you're going to make me cry. Um, well, I, I find, uh, I hear from people that, um, you know, people who didn't even know Doug tell me that they feel they know him through our words, through my words and through the book. And uh, he was. I, I think I appreciated him and let him know that when he was alive. But um, yeah, he was a good guy and um, got along with people, good dad. And um, I'm glad I had him for 30 some years. <laughs> yeah. Karen, we can't thank you enough for sharing your story with us this thank morning. Thank you. Thank you very I much. Mean, Buffalo, thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks for having me. All right, everybody. Well, if you would like to learn more about the compelling memoir, One on the Ground, and to learn more about Karen and her family and all that they've been through, make sure to visit oneontheground.com. And we'll be right back after the break.